everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make an infinity power with the flywheel. If you want to support me um, in making more of these videos, make sure to uh, subscribe because that really helps me. <laughs> and if you want to make this farm, pause the video and look at it before we begin. And you can follow along as I show you what is happening. So this um, fly machine um, is actually powered by all these things are so actually powered by the fly wheel. And if we take a stress meter, you can actually see that it doesn't really take that much power. So that's pretty good. So you can use almost almost 100% of its power because it only uses like almost 100, a little over. Okay, just to start off the machine, um, we need something to shoot with, and tree is actually very good because it gets to lock, it gets burnt, it it can get burnt into logs and come out as um, charcoal. So and we use the fuel with charcoal so that's pretty good for fueling the furnace we need trees and this is a tree farm it's like the other one and it's the tree farms are just pretty good it's the source of almost everything so this machine will collect all the logs and all the other thing it gets it's transformed in from the polyball storage interface into or out of the brass funnel and we actually have a filter here so it doesn't take out the the saplings because we don't want uh, the saplings to um, to go out here or else it wouldn't even plant anything so but as you can see there um, we have a brass tunnel which has a filter here with an a and um, with an apple and a stick so we just Take and filter, take these two in, and hit check, and smash it in here to the filter. And only these uh, these two out, these two things on the allow list will get in here. And if if it was in and at the denial list, it will get straight into there, and the logs will get into this. So it will basically reverse the things. And then when it's ready, the log gets out in the chute and into the furnace which will burn um, all the wood so after the wood would um, have been burned we'll get into charcoal and um, then we'll pass through these tunnels and um, it's stiff it's actually just to make the farm to not clock up because i have seen a lot of farms do that when i built them and i want to make a farm that cannot clock up and um, it actually has done that so a charcoal will come in it has a 50% chance of getting this or that way um, and this time it was that way it was not randomized though um, after it has taken a charcoal, charcoal to have taken this way it will always take this way so it gets into the storage one into the storage and one passes through this and it's the same principle for every tunnel so when <coughs> when it's required when a charcoal it has passed through all these a couple of times it will get passed through all of these three and then get passed on into the furnace and it will almost um, get in the same at the same time so it will never clog up with coal and it's pretty nice because you don't lose any coal and you actually get more fuel to fuel up some um, of your furnaces you need to do something else it gets passes through there it's pretty cool it's a little expensive with the brass and stuff like that but it's not that expensive if you have an automatic brass farm link is in the is, is it on the video now on the screen now this project will um, take some brass to do so if you want to see how to make um, automated grass brass, I have a video on that um, on my youtube channel which you can just click on and it will show you how to make brass automatically so when the f so when we start 
power this furnace, everything um, on the contraption will actually power up. Um, and, and it's pretty nice because it doesn't really make get uh, that much power. And um, a good thing to do if you don't want to spend uh, brass on rotation speed controllers, you can just make cogwheels and large cogwheels. And if you want to slow down a contraption, use the uh, cogwheel first with the main source and then a large cogwheel next. It will always get slower. As you can see here, we take this down here, gradually get slower and slower until it's it can't get slower anymore. If you want to speed an, a contraption up, you can always do the same, but just have a large cockpit instead, and then a small cockpit. It's a very, um, it's a very cheap way of speeding up your you know, contraptions. And although this cannot get infinity, infinite um, uh, speed, because as you see there, it can't get any anymore. So we have to slow it down. Or have to do with this. So yeah, and we will slow down the contraption. It will pass on to these different things. We have a lot of gearboxes in this contraption to make everything rotate in the in the in the way in the way we want. And we also have some of these cogwheels here. And just because I thought if you were a little annoyed by using uh, gearboxes, you can use cockwheels. <clears throat> but we make all these contraption um, spin around in the right direction with gearboxes, shafts, and cockwheels, and um, <clears throat> we power every belt here, and then we move the shafts up to this large cockwheel to speed up the contraption with a normal cockwheel. We don't really need to do this, but if you want your machine to go a little faster up here, you can always speed it up. But if you don't, you can erase this and just put it in here. It will work the same way. But then we have the gearboxes and the encased uh, chain drive to um, work everything, make everything work. And it's actually pretty neat. It's much smaller than I thought it would and you even get some coal out of it and you even get some charcoal out of um, this machine so it's an infinity coal and power machine and if you want to see more farms in crate you can uh, look at the video right here but uh, that's what gonna be it for it for me guys um, if you like this video make sure to subscribe um, it really do help and I really appreciate it Thanks for watching to the end of this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.